Si votre vie vous laisse avec les questions, changez les conseils de la mer. Cher homme de aqua, cher homme de aqua, donnez-moi votre conseil, s'il vous plaît, homme de aqua. Bonjour, it is I, Aquaman. It's meant to be under the sea. Shut up. <laughs> Bonjour, this is I, Aquaman, or as my friends in France call me. <clears throat> Fish can't talk. Uh, <laughs> who's the first letter? Thank you, Juliet. What an attractive beret. <laughs> I love how the women here go topless. <laughs> this one says, Dear Homme d'Aqua, which is what they call me here in France, the French Ocean. This one. Uh, dear Om Dakwa, what is the best part about living in the ocean? Well, that's easy. Have you ever heard of bouillabaisse, the fresh fish stew? Well, look around you. It's all free. I'm living inside stew. <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> We're back, everyone, and I'm here shopping in Paris with my friend Eddie, and Kristen is here as well, tagging along. Hey, Eddie. French. Very nice, I know. Eddie, you've worked in Paris a lot, haven't you? Did you, you designed this square? Well, we made this, I, I put this up uh, last year. Um, we cut through here, this was a big church, and we thought we'd cut through here and put up some really distressed looking walls. It looks very real, and, and the French people have really taken it. They, they must be very grateful for your architectural work that you've done. They, they do like I the, like the, the painting stuff. and stuff. Do you ever buy these? Do you, do you have a place here? No, I, I, I'm staying in the place at the moment because I'm doing my gigs here because I'm insane. No, you do, you do stand up in French for that. Do the spectacle en français. It's see, see, plus facile de faire le spectacle en français. I'm on swooning. Peut le faire. Excuse on peut le faire. me. On doit le faire parce que je peux. I think the whole world should be a big melting pot like Manhattan, a massive Manhattan. This is my, this is my simple idea for the future of the world. But the whole world should be like Manhattan? Yeah. What about the pee, -pee smell? I'm worried about no, the pee, -pee <laughs> smell. Right. No, the pee, pee smell goes with it, goes with the world. Right. But imagine, if everyone's working in different languages in different countries, then we all get to know each other better. Right. So it's the separation I disagree with. It's the, it's the crossing over. And you don't become homogenized. We all don't all become the same. You just go and you, I'm going to do it in French. I want to do it in German, Russian, and Arabic. And I was born in an Arabic country. You're so cold. Cultured. He's very cultured. This is not you. This it's is none of your. Intoxicating. Well, that you're just drunk. I think you're just. <laughs> yes, it's the way he doesn't talk to me. Like a couple of drinks. The guys here do the paintings. They, they they're actually very good, though, aren't they? I mean, look, I like I that. No, I, I like that. This is nice. Oh, this is this is beautiful. This was original. This was outside. This is Montmartre. That's this big lumpy hill, as you can see, because Paris is kind of flattish, and then there's this lump of a hill, Montmartre. They got the Sacre Coeur over there, this big churchy thing, and this was where all the artists could hang out. It was outside Paris, and the the road at the bottom, Rue Pigalle, uh, uh, down there, that was all the sex thing because it but was outside Paris. That's where your theatre is. No? In the sex area. I uh, know. Are you doing anything sexy in your show? Do you do any? Well, sex I think people do come in thinking and they're buying tickets for some sort of sex show. Ooh. And then I try and <laughs> persuade them that I'm not. But look, see, a cabaret show, there's cabaret shows everywhere. There's 500 comedy shows a night. 500. 500? Goes yeah. up to 800. Do you ever go and weekend. see any of them? Uh, my French is just at the level where I can understand most of it, but not the punchlines, <laughs> which is a really <laughs> annoying thing. It really is annoying. Is there such a thing as a French sense of humor? Is there a different sense of humor? Because I was very I mean, confused. No, the big theories on this. All right, go okay. There is no difference in sense of humor in the world. Really? Yeah, but broadly, and I can prove this too, broadly right. there's, a, there's a mainstream sense of humor in every country, every developed country. Developing countries just can't, you know, they can't afford to live, so, so yeah. we just got to take the developed countries. So there's a mainstream sense of humor, and then there's an alternative sense of humor. Right. And that's the difference. So, and it's like, it's like music. R.E.M. is a band, an alternative band. They will right. play to a more alternative music audience in every developed country, in France, in Germany, in America. Right. And then there's a more mainstream bands, and they'll play to a more mainstream audience. Really? And like, like humor, like uh, Monty Python has its own alternative well, like, audience. So there's Jay Leno, and then there's Dave. Yeah, right. And so, so Dave is a more alternative Dave's audience. Dave's a little more alternative. And the alternative audiences in France will pick up on him, and in Germany. 
And some French kids just told me yesterday they're the first, this is the first generation now who actually want to listen to the stuff in English, films in English with subtitles as opposed to dub because they want to get the real what's coming through. So they're actually downloading stuff um, which they shouldn't be downloading just to get the real stuff because it. And these are guys who are running. Yeah, very good. Well, you've run a lot of marathons. Are you still doing it? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do more. Yeah. What with those guys? Not with those guys. Yeah, you'd have specifically I think you have to go not with those guys. Yeah, they're, they're they're a bit. They're not going fast enough. No, they don't go fast enough. Yeah, I've got some money. Look, do you want to get some postcards yes. over here? Come on then. Postcards. Yes. Well, I live here, so. Kitties. Well, but don't you want to get some? There's a Picasso cat. Yeah. You know that's that's nice. Picasso. No Picasso. That's not yeah, Picasso. Oh, Picasso. Picasso. Picasso or Picasso? Picasso. That's nice. I'm going to get one of those. And, uh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh there's. Let me There's a danger word there. What? Because Le Chat is the cat and La Chat is, um. Ooh la la! Really? Oh! Uh oh! Oh, a snow globe. What? Yes. Look, a snow globe with you get dancing a, a girls. Are you back your iPhone? Oh, actually, I do quite like that. Yeah. A tiny mug. Get that tiny mug for your desk. That says uh, Paris. I, I should get it for my for the guests because I've got the snake mug. Paris right? Jutain. That's Paris. I love uh, I'm going to get the uh, the cup and uh, maybe the Happy Days car. Is that <laughs> happy, flower. happy flower? <laughs> well, let's let's get that then. Um, Kristen. Yeah. I'm giving you the money. Go inside and get the stuff, and I'll uh, talk to Eddie about. Uh, man stuff. She's lovely. Would you make my eyes all like sparkly? Like like rainbow swirls, it'd be great. Like sherbet but my eyes. They're playing the Hollywood Bowl, then, you say? Yeah, Paris, 140-seater, Hollywood Bowl, 17,000-seater. And I what thought, do you prefer, good then? What do you prefer? Do I prefer both. Really, it's, it's like, um, it's like, go up this way. This looks very nice, little Parisian street. Um, like, it's... Um, I'm lose Kristen. Kristen, we're going up this way. I'm glad you didn't see this when Kristen's around. She's a vegetarian. Come on up. No, but what? I mean, she couldn't have been a vegetarian. Oh, no, she could have been a vegetarian. She could have been a vegetarian. You're a vegetarian. We were talking about before. I was talking about cavemen. Yeah. And with it, with, there must have been some people just gatherers and saying, I'm not going to hunt anything. I'm just going to gather, baby. That was me, for sure. That was you, yeah. Do you yeah. think so? Well, I mean, but why do humans then have their sharp pulling teeth? These are not sharp teeth. Uh, Think of it in the context of really sharp teeth, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is nothing. This is child's play. No, no, no. I, 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 think you could, I think you could pull a bit of meat now, apart I know you those. can't talk yeah. about God on television, can you? Okay. Well, I think you can a little bit. Okay, here's my interesting thing on God, because I don't believe in God. But if, why didn't God make everything vegetarian? If there is a God, because I think it's random. I just think we're just here. Right. But which is, yeah, but I'm in a spiritual way. But if there was a God, why did not he make everything from start vegetarian? Because then we'd all just eat plants, and plants would go, oh, I'm really eating okay, well, this, well, this is a... And then no one would actually know about killing at all, except for when your granddad died. Well, what if you just ate parts of animals? Like, rather than killing an animal. You a comedy just no, I'm not, no, no, no. <laughs> if you take, if you make everyone so that we didn't even know how to kill, right. then that would have worked a lot better. Well, if it... I was God, I'd do that. I'd also get rid of poo and pee, because why do we have waste products? Why don't we just eat stuff and carry on? Yeah. Because the waste products cause so many diseases, there's so yeah. many things you could do if you were God. But if there is no evil, you can't celebrate the good. Like, if you don't know what it's like to feel pain, then you're not as excited well, when you, if, you're you not mean, in If you don't pain. have Hitler, you can't really have a good No, but on a, on a smaller, on a smaller scale. Gonna, yeah, but no, I'm just saying, take all that out. You can still have pain and, and, and you can have rotten cabbages. You know, cab oh, this cabbage is awful. Oh, it's awful. Ah, the great cabbages have arrived. What a wonderful day. You're just saying with no, killing. But yeah, I'm just saying killing. You've got love, you've got sex, you've got uh, creation of things. You've got loads of stuff you can do as a vegetarian and as a non-carnivore. Non, uh, are, you, are you a vegetarian? No. I see. But it's just an interesting thought. Yeah, no, it is an interesting thought. I, I still think, though, that there is... Point. I still think, though, that there is... See, and this is proof why we should have come to Paris. Because I don't know if we would have had that same discussion in the studio. No, and also this, it's, see, everyone's dead now. This, like, this is actually a film set, and we're only 
here in this is <laughs> it looks a bit like a film set. It does it? look a little bit like a film set.